Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, 2016. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Salt Lake City. We've got a pretty good winter storm on the way. And so what do you say we chat about it here? So the person who helped me with this briefing, we worked together, Glenn Merrill, he's a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, and I discussed how this works. He indicated that the big crux of the storm comes in two parts. The part down here is the high pressure ridge that's thankfully not parked over the west as it's been for a long time. And that's pulling up tropical moisture. The low that's moving up here is coming down and it's interacting and forming this atmospheric river that's expected to move through from Thursday night all the way till Saturday night bringing significant snow. So let's start with the northern Wasatch and see what we have here. Snow totals are expected to be 24 to 36 inches, and that's for Snow Basin, Potter Mountain. Beaver Mountain, on the other hand, could see up to three to four feet of snow with snow, uh, snow water equivalents somewhere around three to four inches up north. That's not a, um, something out of the ordinary for Beaver Mountain in the area east of Logan. But really, for the rest of the areas in the northern Wasatch, I think two to three feet of snow is a good bet with snow water equivalent about 1.5 to 2.5 inches. It's going to start on Thursday afternoon. Now, on Friday during the day, we're going to get a feeling like the storm is petering out. It's going to get warmer. Snow level is going to rise. But there's another slug moving in. And that's going to happen on Friday night. So when you look at the storm, think of it as two parts, but we're doing one briefing. And the whole thing's going to wrap up on Saturday evening. The greatest snow intensity is going to be Thursday night. And then after that warm period goes through Friday day, it's going to get intense again on Friday night. Peak snowfall rates about two inches per hour down to the valley floors with that inner, inner between time on Friday with snow densities increasing from about 7 to 10 percent in the northern Wasatch. When we look at the winds, the winds are going to be really significant Friday night into Saturday morning with gusts up to 70 miles an hour and sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. And they're going to come out of the west and the west-southwest. So if we're going to have a lot of wind loading out of that direction on the other sides of the mountains. With this amount of snow, that's going to change the avalanche conditions considerably. Now when we look at the central Wasatch on the front side, we're going to take a look right in that area there. And what we're going to see, and this is areas we're talking about, Brighton, Solitude, Snowbird, and Alta for the most part as, as far as ski areas go. Snow totals 24 inches to 36 inches with snow water equivalent about 2 to 3 inches. It's going to start Thursday evening. It's going to end Saturday afternoon. And we're going to have that lull on Friday during the day. The greatest snow intensities are Thursday night and then again on Friday night with 2 inches per hour. Valley floors at the beginning, valley floor snow at the end. It's going to get up to about 6,000 feet though um, on Friday during the day. We're going to have a little bit of rain below that and then it's going to get cold again as that next slug moves in. And as a result, the snow density trends are going to increase roughly from about 7 to 12 percent. But when you see the winds... Friday night, Saturday morning, we're going to see gusts up to 80 miles an hour on the ridge tops. And this is all the way across all of the Wasatch. The winds are going to be sustained at about 60 miles an hour. And they're going to come out of the west-northwest to the west. And then they're going to shift back to the west-northwest. And that's really the peak winds are going to be Friday night into Saturday morning. But we're also going to see it on Thursday night into Friday. Now let's move into the backside. And we're talking about Park City, the canyons, and uh, Sundance with this. Deer Valley also. Snow totals 14 to 24 inches, not as much as this is coming out of the west and the northwest. Actually, it's coming straight out of the west. The snow water equivalent is 1.2 to 2 inches. And again, the same pattern it goes for this, really for the backside, but... Uh, we're going to have that Friday period where it seems like it's lagging. Thursday night, Friday night, our greatest snow intensities with snowfall rates of about an inch to an inch and a half per hour. Down to the valley floors in this area, new snow density trends increasing from 8 to about 14%. 
and then what we'll see are the winds up to about 55 miles an hour on the ridge tops on Saturday morning, and they're going to keep going all the way, ramping up really through Thursday afternoon through Saturday morning with sustained winds at about 35 miles an hour, southwest to westerly when the winds are at their highest. So act accordingly when you do get winds out of this direction at that wind speed. When we look at the winter range, what we're looking at are the snowcat operations up into Thousand Lake Ranch near Windy Peak. 14 to 24 inches with 1 to 2, 1.2 to 2 inches of snow water equivalent. It's going to start Thursday afternoon. We're going to get that lag Friday during the day. It's going to pick up Friday night, go into Saturday afternoon. Greatest snow intensities again will be Thursday night, Friday night, 1 to 2 inches per hour down the valley floors. And the density trends will be increasing about 7 to 12 percent. The winds are up to 80 miles an hour on Saturday morning out of the west northwest with uh, mostly winds out of the west prior to that with sustained winds up to 60 miles an hour and you can see how they're ramping up once Saturday morning goes through and the storm moves through Saturday afternoon they start dropping off significantly so there you have it there's the contact information for a bunch of good information if you'd like to learn more I think the most important one is the Utah Avalanche Center they do wonderful work. They are very good forecasters. I would highly recommend you look at their webpage and learn before you go out there. Again, this is Brian McInerney. I hope this has been beneficial. Feel free to share this link with whoever you feel may benefit. Stay safe out there, and we'll wait for the next one. Thanks again. Bye.